I had an audition at Simon and Schuster and they sent me in and I met with the powers that be there and I went into the booth and they gave me a couple of different things to read um, and they just put me sort of in their brain trust and do you know how to do this and what would you do with this type of thing can you play characters do you do dialects um, which I had done in a lot of theater and that's actually how it started and I believe it was like it wasn't immediate but about a month later they called up and said hey we have a title for you we'd love you to do this you know we played your stuff for for this author and um, that's how I did my first book and then fairly shortly after that um, a couple of years one or two years after that is when I started to do yours, um, I believe. Um, it's so I have so many folks how. ask. OK, so I have so many folks ask me, you know, why don't you do it? Why don't you do your own audiobooks? And I said, you have no one, you have no idea how hard it is. And I said, why would I? I've got the best guy in the business working with me. He's so well classically trained. This is a Broadway actor who can keep all the voices. I can't do what you do. I, I mean, I, and so what's really weird is I've written what you read, right? but I can listen to the audio version of my own books and just be swept away by how you carry the characters. And one of, the, one of our favorite stories in my house is uh, because you've done so much stuff, uh, TV, uh, commercials, is uh, <laughs> one day being in my kitchen cooking with my back to the TV and the TV was on. And all of a sudden I started hearing Scott Harvath ask me about my cholesterol levels as I'm like scrambling eggs. And it was you, I turned, you were standing like in Central Park in a white lab coat and yeah. people stepping behind a mirror. Exactly. It was it, so I was like, yeah. it was the it was just kind of this full circle thing for me.